Hey folks, Steve here with another NATO The Cold War Goes Hot video covering the Baltic Approaches beginner scenario or introductory scenario. We are now on turn five with only three turns left, five, six, seven, and uh, that'll be the end. And the Soviets still have a ways to go here. Um, they need to conquer uh, four Danish cities to cause Denmark to surrender. Or they could have taken Copenhagen and two minor cities. Um, Copenhagen feels very out of reach at the moment. Um, very out of reach. And so uh, really hard to say um, now what else we can do as the Soviets, but to try to, to trek up the, uh, the neck of Denmark and, and take out uh, the minor cities Availed to us by uh, land movement are all, all, all of our uh, kooky, crazy attempts to paradrop and amphibious insert uh, forces to seize the capital have all generally ended in uh, abysmal failure. So we're going to have to try to make this work just a little bit differently. Um, I think we still have a, a chance, maybe a chance. I don't know. Um, there was a comment on the previous video about, you know, looking at the map, Denmark's days being numbered or something like that. And however true that could be, the, the reality is for the scenario, we do have a, a threshold to hit and we're running out of time to do it. So I really need to get, um, just to show this city, that city, this city, that city, four cities. Those are the four that we're going to get. Um, if we're going to get any, and uh, it's going to take some doing. So we, we've got to work through this. Uh, we got to try. And uh, well, well, we'll see where we get to. So just wanting to get started right away um, in terms of reinforcements for turn five. There is yet again a uh, U.S. Air Mobile unit that is in our reserve box. As NATO, we will uh, insert that that force somewhere on the map, wherever we can. Though we'll be subject to interception, um, and uh, we'll we'll move on from that. This this is actually going to be, I hope, a pretty quick video. So what I'm going to try to do, um, just because we're already hitting the intro, I'm going to play pretty quick. Um, there's a chance I'm just not going to show every single counter move um, because I I, I want to fit all this in a, in a, one video. And then I'll probably just do another video um, to follow this, which is sort of a post-mortem at what I did wrong, what what could have I done better, and believe me, I could have done things better. <laughs> That's the so it's it's almost embarrassing. Um, so uh, HQ supply phase, uh, we are fine for HQ supply, uh, and right now, um, I, I we are we are good to go. We we are just fine. Uh, but for movement supply, I do have to, to double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guys, uh, I overextended. And what I probably should have done is not bothered to have advanced. So this is another one of those, like, oops -a daisies uh, <laughs> That we're not quite getting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't get these guys. So as we get into movement supply, we are going to have a movement supply uh, issue. And of course, what I should have marked was that uh, after this combat, they'd be out of combat supply. So I, I well, but now that I'm looking at this and I'm rethinking this, I think I would have maybe not advanced after combat. So this could be a correction. Um, I do feel like I've, I have to give the uh, the Soviet player a break because I've done so poorly in every other instance here that I, I need to at least keep it going. Um, so if we didn't, if we chose not to advance after combat, We'd stay in supply. The important thing is we eliminated a step. Now, would that have enabled this guy to to move further than he did um, on the NATO player turn? 
probably. I think at one point we had him moved over one, two, three, four. Uh, so he could have gone one, two, three, four, and maybe we'll we'll have done that. Um, there's still Zox being projected here, and we're trying to slow things down to protect that city. So I don't know that that's kind of the play here, guys. Do we you know do we try to get these guys out there? They're going to be out of supply. Um, they're going to be you know having funky issues with combat supply until we can you know, do do something, what we could do, well, they'd still be out of, damn. see, this is, this is where the supply stuff starts to, um, starts to become more important, because you're trying to determine how because we have a resupply operation, but if we fail the resupply operation, um, then those guys are, are really not as effective as I need them to be, and I and I do want them to be effective. We need these mechanized units to be effective to clear the cities. Uh, we can't really do it with our armor. Our armor gets halved, and and everything else goes on. So I think we'll we'll let that stand. That'll be the new game state. I shouldn't have advanced those units so far. So otherwise, our our, uh, our movement phase, all these guys are, are just fine uh, for movement supply. We're not railing anything. Air to sea movement. Now this is where you know I need to make some some thoughts on what I want to try to achieve. Um, I don't want to insert any units yet. I, I I have something in mind, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to do it. Um, I think I'm going to wait to do it. Yeah, I think I will. So we'll do uh, the ground movement stuff. And some of this is, is not going to be terribly complicated, but but making sure we understand like we're, we're only going to be able to do um, movement like that. And... Uh, one, two, three. guys where they're at. Okay. Um, so now, with the movement out of the way, uh, recovery phase, Remove disrupted markers, so that goes out. Um, now, I, I could be trying to push further along, but that disruption marker screwed up my movement capability. Um, and uh, we kind of need to break past the Zoc point, and then things open up in the north. Things continue to be difficult trying to head east, but I've got a plan for that. Okay, so as we get ready for our battle planning, um, and I don't think I need to be too terribly complicated with these things, but um, certainly going to be trying to do battles there. And uh, there's, a, there's a point now where we need to make some choices about what we're going to try to achieve. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, I would like 
to do a chemical strike here with a non-persistent um, a non-persistent chemical strike and unfortunately I can't I can't eliminate a unit this is what's unfortunate um, but I can disrupt it and keep them from uh, moving back or moving into uh, a city to support and that's kind of what I'm hoping I can make occur here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to use the distance choice to slow down reinforcements on uh, the island there. So we're gonna we're gonna try to chemical strike right there. And in fact, we're gonna do um, we are gonna use a persistent one. Uh, it doesn't really 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 matter. So um, we need a four, five, or six. Uh, any die roll modifiers? No. We got a five, so that that is uh, that turned out well. So we will stick this right here, and we have a really I should have done this disruption marker on this unit, and there's a chemical strike. So we're gonna be trying to slow down. Um, the units that are coming through that ferry uh, to to try to slow down the, that capability. That's kind of what we're shooting for there. So that's our chemical strike. I'm rolling for the other one. Um, and I don't see... Yeah, that this one still is staying. So that likelihood is those chemical markers are going to stay where they're at this whole time. Um, next, we have an airstrike, and I'm actually going to try to airstrike here because I don't want anyone to join up with this Danish unit. Um, so we're, we're airstriking there. Um, or maybe I should just airstrike that unit. I, you know, this is one of those situations where I could see it either way. Um... Striking the unit that we're looking at would, would be useful because uh, we would need to roll a 6 to hurt that British unit. We know there's probably going to be more reinforcements being shipped into that city. But if we hit the unit that we're targeting for the combat, um, that would pay off some dividends for us. Uh, Oh, yeah, this is tricky. Um, hmm. I think we'll try... Yeah, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Um, I think I'm going to target the unit that's in the open with this. And just hope that we can knock him out. So this is our one air point shot. Uh, we don't get any pluses or minuses uh, because he's not in the city. So I'm hoping for a five or a six. And we get a five, um, which is a D, D result. This guy goes away. And um, wow, that was important. Now we have uh, a, our, our breakthrough. Um marker that I don't have any reserve units. It doesn't doesn't really doesn't really matter. Um but boy that's pretty important and I think we can just uh advance after combat. I'm I'm reasonably confident. Um I have to double check this, but I think that's gonna be the case. Yeah, so for our purposes, um, we can simply uh, advance here, and I can choose to exploit, which I will do. Um, so we're going to do that.
which gives us some, <clears throat> some space to work with here um, for the next go around. So as these units are coming up, we're, we're getting in a good shape there. Now, otherwise, um, we do have uh, another combat here, and it's a question of do the uh, territorials try to react in, um, and I'm not, I'm not sure that they want to, um, because it, it could just mean that they get uh, eliminated in the same combat phase as the other unit, because even if we were, you know, I'm looking at it, it's like 16 to 2, that would be 8 to 1, um, that's a high chance of a D2, I don't think we react, and so this one, this is almost a, a perfunctory die roll here, um, uh, though we do have an opportunity to do a NATO strike, which we will do, so I'll roll that now, and that's a 1, uh, so unfortunately the NATO strike misses, and so we'll roll for the combat, this is on the 10 to 1 table, and uh, yeah, they're, yeah, that's fine. So this guy dies, these guys advance, the battle there is over, and I'm going to have to make some decisions here because, um, you know, where do I want to put my strength? I have two mechanized infantry that are going to kind of force their way into this city, potentially. Um, and I've got armor and mech trying to knock out this city. It's kind of a, it's not as ideal as I would maybe have wanted it to be. Um, one, two, three, four, eight. You can start to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fling my airborne forces forward here to help with the other cities, but I, I kind of have to drill through um, some of these other forces as we're, as we're making progress. So that's, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I have, I have thoughts on how we're going to proceed here, but that was, that's, that's our initial swing. We're, we're smashing, we're working, we're trying to slow things down. Um, and we're hopefully going to make, make some progress, uh, as, as we keep going. Um, going back over to the, uh, the NATO turn, just to start hitting that, uh, HQ supply, none of that's really an issue. Movement supply, um, everybody's got some some level of supply, I guess, is the way to look at this. Um, I think the chemical marker actually might be a problem. Okay, a as it happens, the, uh, the chemical strike marker does not block supply, but it does disrupt movement, which was my goal there. Um, so now we're going to have a NATO movement. We are going to try to ship... Um, this unit somewhere. I need to think about where I want them to go. Um, yeah, I think, I think we'll try to ship them in here. I can't think of a much better way to do this right now. Um, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm, that is going to be a problem for us because... I don't have any, uh, that is not a sea lift unit. I have to do it via air, um, which means I have to put them somewhere in friendly airspace. So one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that I can, I can sh plop them here with uh, air, air transport, air ferrying movement. It's not really where I want him to be, but that is going to work. That's that's where he's going to have to be. Um, and then for movement here, this guy can move one hex, so we'll move him one hex. This guy can do one step transport over into, into this hex. Um, and uh, what I might try to do is move this guy into here. If the Soviets really want to try, you know, one last shot at Copenhagen, they can they can try, but it's going to be um, a, a real challenge at this point. So we can start to move more units around, um, trying to get these guys over 
uh, over the way. Um, but uh, this is this is all going to be a problem for for the the Soviets. Not much else for us to do. We used our our uh, airstrike marker. I think that's all. That's all I can really expect to be able to do right now. Um, yeah, and then if we look at our the supply of the, uh, of the Warsaw Pact. One, two, three, five, six, six. So these guys have a note, you know, can get supply up and we can move the HQ forward um, on the next Warsaw Pact turn. So, um, and to get into here, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we should be we should be able to get kind of where we need to go, but I've, I've got some options if I need to, um, to make the rest of this work. So uh, I, I think the Warsaw Pact's feeling okay, but it's it's going to be tight. The NATO player can't do much more. We did our movement. We're, we've done everything that we can reasonably expect to do. Uh, we remove our disruption markers, so we'll do that. And... Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. So we go into turn six. Now it's, it is really coming down to the wire. Um, getting back to, there's no more reinforcements. Not much else to do. Uh, HQ supply is not a problem. Movement supply at this point is not a problem. Uh, air sea movement. Now this is this is where um, we are going to try to make something happen here. So first things first, I'm gonna do air to sea movement, and we're going to try to transport our HQ here. Now this could go pear-shaped on us, to be honest. Um, oh, dropped my die. I wanna use this uh, HQ to help a a drive against the swarming D danish units and so and maybe this isn't the best way to use this but i'm gonna try to make something happen here so warsaw pack going into contested airspace it is contested airspace in a zoc so we have a minus one of the die roll um we will likely get away with this and this is with uh one of our naval sea lifts Oh no! Oh, so I got a bad die roll. Damn it! Uh, four minus three that affects, so we lose one of our shipping points, and our HQ here is gonna go. Well, he's out of the game basically. Dang it! I was trying to transport him right here, and then I was gonna follow that up with with more. I still can, and I think I still will. But we're we're gonna do other movement first. So, um, dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm going to leave some of these guys he here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We're going to send this guy up to just have, have some level of support, and then, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Anything else I can do here? Um, no, I think this will work. And so now what we're going to do, this is, this is going to be the dangerous thing, I guess. Um, we're going to do helicopter movement with this guy. And what I'd like to be able to do, I'm not going to grab the helicopter thing. We're going to, we're, we're basically going to need to do um, flak rolls. We're going to need to do one, one, two, three times. So I'm going to roll three dice and hope for no ones. Pass. Crap. <laughs> Damn it. Um, all right. So we got hit with flak. <laughs> Man, we just can't we can't get a break. I'm I, not only am I playing bad, but we can't we can't catch a break. 
Um, so we were trying to helicopter units, and without the HQ, they'd be in danger of dealing with supply issues, but the hope was they'd hold, and then we'd, we'd have them execute an assault on the city when the uh, next turn comes up. But boy, we got hit. Um, so what do we need to do? Now we need to roll... Uh, We're going to roll again. The unit is shot down and permanently removed from play. Yeah. All right, so the HQ, or not the HQ, the helicopter point is gone, and the unit that I was trying to transport over here is gone. I think that's, that's going to do it. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything more. We're not going to be able to win. Um, I don't see it feasible, but we'll play through the rest of it just to just to try to make sure we we have got it figured out. Um, wow. 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 All right. Um, yeesh. 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 Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do uh, battle planning. Uh, there, I'm not gonna place the markers. It's obvious where I'm going and attack on that city and attack across that uh, bridge. And I am going to try to airstrike. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, I'm gonna try to airstrike. I need to think about how I want to do this. Um, I'm going to chemical strike him and then uh, We'll we'll see what we can do. So, um, chemical strike misses. Oh my gosh, are you for real? That's fine. We're just we're not getting anywhere with this. We're, we don't we don't actually harm the folks that we needed to harm. All right, I gotta double check if we still place the marker on a strike failure. Um, but that's not what we wanted. Uh, we'll double check. Wanted to at least disrupt that guy. Um, and then our airstrike will be on um, uh, the uh, the British unit here for that stack. Um, so trying with a regular strike, and we missed that. Oh my gosh. Now, the uh, the NATO airstrike in response is going to target one of these divisions. And they miss two, I think. Um, that actually might be a disrupt. Strike table one, I got a three. Okay, that is a disrupt. Um, I think we are seeing this all melt away in front of us folks um terribly so uh so the combats here one two four and a half ten point five so ten two three three to one reducing down to two to one we rolled a four. That's an A one R one. All right, that's <laughs> um, that, folks, is going to be uh, the the end of the road here. I don't think we can do any more. Um, I mean, even even uh, well, actually, um, yeah. So this should have been a concentric attack. That's my bad. Um, so, yeah, hold on, I gotta fix something. Okay, um, 
So because of the concentric attack, which I forgot about, we actually got a different combat result. The British unit is destroyed. We still have the HQ in here. This guy does not take a step loss. The final sort of combat here, where we have, um, you know, 12 to 1. I mean, this is a, you know, this is a gimme. That guy's going to go away. And there will be an advance here now. <clears throat> um, last turn, I don't think we've got it. I don't think we've got it at all, guys. Um, I think we failed. Uh, you know, NATO goes, what can NATO do? Well, um, NATO can go like that, um, can go like that, uh, and I don't even know that we need to do much else. Um, so, it, you know, going to the last turn, you say, well, what can we, what can we try to do? Um, we're starting to run out of options, honestly. Uh. And so if you were trying to do like what's the what's the cleanest shortest attack that's even conceivable right now so you get rid of that marker um, I don't know let's pretend for a second that this guy does land successfully you would kind of need to go one two three one two three four five let's just do that for a second, and, and there's some things where I'm just cheating to make this work. Um, and then we'd still have to attack into here. At best, we could maybe get that hex. We would maybe get this hex. Um, but there's no way we just ran out of time. There's no way we're going to get up there <clears throat> and take that last that last hex. So I mean, you could. We could roll the die here and try to figure out a way to make this work. You know, one, two, um, let's see, is there any other way? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, no, we just, we just can't do it. We're failing. Um, you, we could roll the die, right? We could roll and say, you know, this guy would even probably react in. There'd be four, two to one, goes to one to one. Would that be enough to knock the defenders out? Probably not. I think I got to call it there. So as, as we're wrapping up turn six and we're trying to get to like what's there, um, you know, what could we do on the last turn? Nothing, nothing would get us a victory. Um, the Soviets are kind of too bogged down. And who knows? I mean, at some point, right, we totally ignore the rest of the map. But this is part of a, part of a full campaign. It's conceivable that maybe the NATO forces would have drop something in a Hamburg if it wasn't taken by other Warsaw Pact forces, or even just, you know, land over here and cut into uh, these captured cities and start to cut off supply lines, um, whole thing, uh, if, if we didn't clear what we needed to clear. And so the, the Warsaw Pact does not get its navy out of the Baltic here in time. A week goes by, the conflict is roaring, and I think it would still take a couple more turns um, before they could seal the deal, um, you know, potentially, depending on the die rolls. And obviously, if you're looking outside the scenario, it's still conceivable that NATO could be putting even more reinforcements in, into Denmark. Um, so there's no, you know, in, in a, as part of a larger campaign, there's no guarantee um, that the, you know, the Warsaw Pact would have been able to be fully successful even across the next several turns of a, of a full campaign. So we're going to have to call this one a NATO victory, and, and I can definitely say mistakes were made as the Warsaw Pact such that victory really slipped away from us, and I'll try to unpack that in a post-mortem video, which is going to follow this one. So this one's going to be probably pretty short, um, all things considered. So thanks for watching, guys. Just a, just a quick you know, run-through of the last couple of turns of the scenario. We, we've got some unpacking to do, uh, but I think that will be that will be worth talking about here. So I'll just see you in the next one. Take care. Keep gaming.